Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you how to bind table names from the database into a drop down list control. And here we got the final results on the browser. Notice that table names are binded into this drop down list control from the database sample DB. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. I just logged into my SQL Server Management Studio. I'm expanding the databases folder. And the databases, the last one is a sample DB database. I'm expanding the sample DB, the tables folder. I'm expanding that one. Notice in this sample DB database, I got some tables here which I want to bind into a drop down list control using C sharp. Before writing the coding part, I will show you a select query statement to display all the table names from the particular database name. The sample db database, right click the sample db database, new query to get the table names from this sample db database, select name is a column from the table name is just sos dot tables execute and here we got the results all the table names from this sample db database now let's bind the table names into a drop down list control for this video tutorial i'm creating a new asp.net project go to file new project from the web templates, I'm choosing ASP.NET Web Application and the .NET Framework I'm using 4.6.1. The application name is Bind Table Names Drop Down List DL. Click OK. I'm selecting Empty Template. Click OK. And the project is created successfully. Let's open Solution Explorer. I'm adding a new web form page in this project. Right click the project name, add a new item. I'm selecting the web form. The web form page name is bind table names drop down list. Add. And here we got the source page of the newly created web form page. Now between this form and do tag, I'm adding a center tag, center h1, how to bind table names from the database. H2 into drop down list control horizontal line after the horizontal line i am adding a drop down list control open toolbox here is the drop down list control i am adding the drop down list control that's it we have done the designing part now right click the mouse go to view code Now in the code behind, the first thing I'm adding the namespaces of SQL Server using system.data using system.data.sql client using system.configuration After adding the required namespaces, the next step I'm adding my database name in the server explorer I click the data connections, add connection I'm adding SQL Server name After adding the server name, I am selecting the database name, sample db, test connection is succeeded, ok, ok. And here the sample db.db is added under data connections. I need the data source of this sample db, right click the sample db.db, go to properties, in the properties the connection string data source, copy that one. Again open Solution Explorer and this time open web.config file. 
in the web.config file inside configuration I'm adding connection strings add name is equals to my connection connection string I'm adding the data source provider name system dot data dot SQL client after adding the connection string in the web.config file switch to the code behind now in the page.event string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings between double quotes I am adding my connection string name which is my connection copy this one paste here dot connection string SQL connection SQL con is equals to new SQL connection I am adding main con string SQL query is equals to the select statement and here the SQL query I am adding the select statement select name is a column name to display the table names from sys.tables this is the statement I have added here SQL command SQL com is equals to new SQL command it takes two parameters first one is a SQL query and the second one is a connection object which is SQL con let's open connection string open method and close the connection string SQL data adapter SDR is equals to new SQL data adapter I'm adding SQL command object data table dt is equals to new data table as the odd dot fill method I'm filling the data with data table let's bind the name column into a drop down list control drop down list one dot data source is equals to dt I'm adding the data table object drop down list dot data text field is equals to name drop down list one dot data value field is equals to name drop down list one dot data bind method that's it we have done the complete coding part now it's time to check the results on the browser google chrome And here we got the final results on the browser. Notice the table names are binded into this drop down list control from the database sample DB. That's it.